from a human perspective, you cannot vaccinate somebody when you are not sure of the quality of the vaccine you are using. You need to be able to say this vaccine was kept at the appropriate condition from manufacturer to, to, to use. You know, and the vaccine is always very important, but the, the problem with the vaccine is storage and the delivery. We, the vaccine is very vulnerable uh, to the heat and very vulnerable to the change of the, the temperature. So we need to assure the cold chain. And especially the importance of the vaccine is that uh, the Japanese assistance to uh, developing countries is always focusing to the people. UNICEF appointed vaccine and cold chain managers in six provinces, someone dedicated to the purpose. And I think the fact that people were appointed with a focus just on cold chain and vaccine management has brought to attention of all the provinces how critically important it is. So our focus has been to look at interventions that reduce wastage around vaccination. Hence, the cold chain management was identified as an area of focus. And, and it was an area where a lot of wastage in vaccination was identified. As Department of Health, we're encouraging people to come and get a vaccination, educating them. And as a hospital where people are coming for services, UNICEF assisted the Department of Health. Hence, we ended up being a distribution site as Grey Hospital. The greatest impact will be felt because it also en enhances and improved the routine immunization, that is the vaccines for children. So it, it therefore improves the, the child health through vaccination as well. Why we are excited about this is that it also addresses not only the issue of cold chain storage as we know it, but also adapts to the current challenges that the, the, the country has got, the issues of load shedding. Because uh, the fridges that we're talking about, they also have a buffer period where they keep the temperature constant so that even if there's load shedding, you can still have the temperature kept constant. So we want to make sure that the lessons that we have learned allow us to have a health system that's robust, that is sustainable in terms of both the preparedness, the, uh, the actual implementation and the monitoring of what's happening in terms of health for children and young people and also the, uh, the broader population in, in the country.